India became the first nation to successfully land on the moon's south pole and is now unveiling a shocking discovery that no one should have seen. What exactly did the Vikram lander and Pragyam rover discover on the Earth's satellite? Now let's unravel the great mystery of Indian spaceflight together. On August 23, 2023, the time had come. India proudly and jubilantly celebrated the landing of their first lunar rovers. The Chandrayaan-3 mission had succeeded after India suffered a crushing failure with Chandrayaan-2. The mission is ambitious. India wanted to be the first nation in the world to land rovers on the moon's south pole. Russia almost beat the Indians to the punch. Russian spaceflight also planned to explore the strategically important south pole, but the landing of the Lunar 25 mission failed miserably just three days before India's triumph. The moon's south pole is of immense importance for future lunar missions, which are also expected to land humans on the moon. Large deposits of water ice are hidden there. Water is to serve future human settlements on the moon as drinking and utility water. In addition, oxygen and even fuel can be produced from water. Large facilities could be built at the South Pole for this purpose, and a planned pipeline will pump water to more distant areas, settlements, or research stations on the moon. The southernmost reaches of the Earth's satellite are by no means only advantageous. The area is known for challenging terrain. Uneven terrain, many craters, razor-sharp rocks, and very rare solar radiation make this an exceptional region. Russia's and India's lunar missions were planned as the first test run. Both missions were followed internationally with excitement. Can technical machines survive at the south pole of the moon? There, where the terrain is impassable, and during the moon night, temperatures below negative 100 degrees prevail. The Challenge of Landing Landings of probes and rovers are still engineering challenges. For the most part, other rovers landed on the Moon or Mars in very safe areas, in large, flat craters, and wherever expensive vehicles and objects like them can be safely set down. Probes like Chandrayaan-3, but also the Chinese Chang'e probes, are objects costing millions of dollars. Losses are not only hard to bear for science, but also bitter financial setbacks for the nations concerned. The distance of hundreds of thousands or millions of kilometers to landers and rovers requires special radio technologies. Perseverance and curiosity on Mars, for example, can be very well controlled from Earth. The Indian probes were a different story. The South Pole is so awkwardly located from Earth that radio signals arrive with a 1.4 second delay. That's not enough time to land the devices safely and without delay. So, Vikram was equipped with a fully automated landing system. Using cameras and sensors, the lander scanned the terrain as it approached the surface. Every bump and rock was registered. Vikram software was able to adjust the flight path to the conditions at any time, and so the spacecraft touched down gently on the lunar surface on August 23, 2023. Chandrayaan-1 to 3 Chandrayaan-3 is now to complete what the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, had been preparing for years. Chandrayaan-1 is an orbiter that has already been orbiting the Moon for several years. Actually, Chandrayaan-2 should have landed on the Moon as early as 2019, but the mission failed. The lander had difficulties during the descent, went off course, and a software error made the mission finally go wrong. The lander crashed and has been lost ever since. This year, India again launched nearly identical probes. Vikram and Pragyan were improved a bit and successfully reached the Moon. After landing, Vikram released his little companion from its safekeeping inside the lander. Pragyan rolled down a ramp and did a few laps in the lunar dust. The pictures of the premiere went around the world and thrilled millions of people. Vikram's tasks are to measure temperatures at the South Pole, record vibrations, and conduct studies of the Moon's almost non-existent atmosphere. The goals of the rover Pragyan, which weighs only 26 kilograms, are small reconnaissance missions. So far, however, Pragyan has not gone far. Only a little more than a week after landing did the lunar night fall and Pragyan was put to sleep after covering 101 meters. On September 2, 2023, the 14-day lunar night dawned, and absolute darkness and freezing cold prevailed at the moon's south pole. The lander Vikram followed its small companion into sleep on September 4, and 14 days later, both probes were to awaken again. Unfortunately, their hopes were not fulfilled. When the temperature at the landing site had risen above minus 10 degrees Celsius from September 22nd, 
the radio systems of the lander and rover should have activated automatically. But so far, ISRO experts listened for signals in vain. As of the publication date of this video, investigations are still ongoing. Although the Indian Space Agency has not officially confirmed the premature loss of the probes, it is highly likely that Vikram and Pragyan's technology could not withstand the more than negative 100-degree lunar night despite their best hopes. ISRO had decided not to equip either lander or rover with radionuclide heaters. On Mars rovers, such heating elements prevent the electronic components from dying of cold. It looks as if India will have to accept another setback. The mission of the two probes was supposed to last five months. India's Space Goals India has been in the space business at least as long as the US or Russia. In the 1960s, Indians began launching their first satellites into space. The space program was started by a physicist, astronomer, and scientist named Vikram, who is now the namesake for India's first lunar rover. Of course, India hopes to strengthen its own position in the global space race, as well as gain economic and political advantages. It's remarkable what Indian scientists have pulled off on a budget that is tiny compared to the sums available to NASA. NASA was hoping for Indian success because the mission can provide valuable data for the upcoming Artemis missions, and India might have considered participating in the Mars settlement. Russia's Lunar 25 bust Russia also wanted to shine by landing at the moon's south pole and studying ice deposits there. The ambitious Lunar 25 mission was planned as a triumph in the country's space history and ended in a dramatic fiasco. On August 20th, 2023, Russia launched its $150 million Lunar 25 spacecraft from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Just three days after launch, on August 23rd, technical difficulties arose during its descent to the moon. Communication systems showed anomalies and navigation instruments failed. The control center on Earth watched with bated breath as the probe hurtled uncontrollably toward the lunar surface. Despite the desperate attempts to stabilize the probe, the impact could not be avoided. The mission ended in a crater, far from the planned landing site. The bust is similar to the failed Chandrayaan-2 mission and is also a major setback for Russian spaceflight. China's Unusual Moon Discovery While India and Russia mourn their failed missions, China celebrates one lunar success after another. The Chinese are not active at the South Pole, but they have sent a rover to a no less exotic area, the far side of the moon. There are numerous legends surrounding this place, and some believe that there has been mining activity on the far side of the moon for a long time, as well as a space station of extraterrestrial beings. Chang'e 5 has not found any aliens yet, but it has found something that may make further pole missions unnecessary. In a spectacular mission, the rover sent samples of moon rocks back to Earth, and Chinese scientists found enormous amounts of water in them. In fact, it turned out that the lunar soil is full of tiny glass beads with water trapped inside. If future settlers want to extract water on the moon, they probably won't have to build a pipeline to the South Pole at all. The water from the glass beads can be extracted anywhere on the moon only by heating the lunar rock. During the 36th lunar day, the Chinese success rover made another fascinating discovery in the Karman crater on the far side of the moon. The object was sighted from a distance of about 80 meters roughly the length of a soccer field. Similarities to a hut led to numerous speculations about the nature of the object. Had Chang'e 5 finally found evidence of extraterrestrial activity on the moon? Experts rather suspect a large boulder, which visually only resembles a hut from a distance. The formation could be a remnant of a significant impact event. Currently, investigations of the object are ongoing, and Chang'e 5 will slowly approach the hut over the course of a two- or three-month journey. Mysterious Rocket Crash on the Moon On March 4, 2022, a rocket body collided with the lunar surface, initially resulting in a new double crater. This unusual crater was discovered by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has been orbiting the Moon since 2009. The impact created two overlapping craters, an eastern crater 18 meters in diameter and a western crater 16 meters in diameter. Although astronomers had expected the impact after discovering that the rocket piece was on a collision course with the moon, the double crater was a surprise. The exact origin of the rocket body remains unclear. Initially, it was believed to be a stage of the SpaceX Falcon rocket that launched the U.S. Deep Space Climate Observatory in 2015. 
However, it was later corrected that it likely came from a Chinese lunar mission in 2014. Nevertheless, the Chinese Foreign Ministry denied that the booster came from its Chang'e 5 lunar mission. The confusion over the origin of the rocket stage has underscored the need to more closely monitor space debris in deep space surveillance. Meanwhile, on the moon, something else highly peculiar occurred as a result of the crash. After the impact, lunar seismometers recorded steady tremors. It is unusual for an impact to cause such intense vibrations that sound like a reverberating gong. The Hollow Moon Theory A very similar phenomenon appeared once before when astronauts on the Apollo 12 mission intentionally crashed their lunar module onto the lunar surface. Then too, the seismometers that had been placed on the moon since Apollo 11 registered long-lasting vibrations. Similar vibrations were also detected after the controlled crash of the third stage of the Apollo 13 mission's Saturn V rocket onto the moon. The vibrations penetrated to a depth of more than 35 kilometers. This response from the moon indicates that it's not completely solid and led to speculation that large portions of the moon may be hollow. However, a hollow moon would not be a natural phenomenon and could indicate artificial intervention. In plain language, this would mean that there might be very large voids inside the moon after all, such as underground bases or even mining areas. Click subscribe now for more impressive videos coming soon.